In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a halftone dot pattern, kind of like the one you see right here on my screen. It's actually extremely easy to do. And to do it, the only panel you really need to open is swatches. So make sure window and then swatches is currently selected. The swatches window is right here on my screen. It might also be helpful for you to have your appearance window open if you want to apply it to some type like I'll do later in this tutorial. So to get the appearance window open, just go to window and then appearance. It's near the top here. So we're going to create the dot for the halftone pattern and then bring it into the swatches panel, which will instantly make it very easy to apply to whatever kind of object we want to apply it to. So I'm going to be using this color right here for my dot. And then using the shape mode, it should be a rectangle by default. If you click and hold and then select the ellipse tool, that's what you're going to want to use. It should be L on your keyboard as a shortcut by default. And then we're going to draw a small circle. The size of the circle will be the size of the halftone dot. So keep that in mind. It's very important that you don't draw your dot too big. Otherwise, you end up with a really large halftone pattern, unless that's the effect you're going for. But when you draw the circle, make sure you're holding down shift. Holding down shift just makes sure that the actual circle is a perfect circle. So here's a nice size for our dot. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit closer here so we can get a better look at this dot. And I'm actually going to bring up the Pathfinder window as well because because that can be helpful for centering our halftone dot. Go to Window and then Pathfinder. It's about two thirds of the way down here. So here's my Pathfinder window. You're gonna to wanna to click the tab that says Align. It'll come in really handy in just a second. So we're gonna go back over to the toolbar here, and this time instead of the Ellipse tool, just click and hold that. We're gonna want the Rectangle tool. It should be M on your keyboard shortcut by default. And this is going to be essentially the bounding box for our dot. So the more space we draw around the circle we just made, the more room between the dots the pattern will have. So I'm actually going to double click on my fill on my toolbar here and change my color to be something a little bit different so we can actually differentiate it from our dot. I'll just do black. And do make sure when you're doing this you don't apply a stroke, although you could apply a stroke to your dot if you want your halftone dot pattern to also have a stroke around it. But on this step where we're drawing the square, you don't want any stroke applied. So make sure you don't have a stroke applied. To remove the stroke, just have your strokes selected in the foreground and then hit this none button which looks like a white box with a red arrow going through it but with the rectangle tool selected which is M on your keyboard as a shortcut we're gonna hold down shift which just keeps that box a nice perfect square we're gonna draw our box and then on this box I'm going to right click and then go down to arrange and then I'm gonna send it to back this just makes it easier to see our dot in relation to the box right here next using the Pathfinder window I'm gonna select over this entire object using the selection tool which is V on your keyboard as a shortcut by default and on the top bar here under align objects I'm gonna hit this middle one on this first three which is called horizontal align center that just makes sure our dot is perfectly centered down the vertical axis and next under distribute objects right here is called vertical distribute center I'm gonna click that and that's just gonna make sure our dot is perfectly centered on the horizontal axis of this box so this is looking pretty good and now do keep in mind that essentially when this halftone dot repeats this is how much distance you'll have between your dots so the actual square will act as the bounding box between the pattern so you can make this box as big or as small as you want if you want to make it bigger or smaller just hold down shift and then alt on a PC or option on a Mac, which will make it maintain being a perfect square as well as going directly from the center. Holding down that alt or option is what makes it change from the center point and not from an edge point. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller here, and I think this looks pretty good. It should be good to go for this tutorial. So the next step here is to select just the box we created using the selection tool. And this time under the fill, we're going to hit that none button. Alternatively, in your appearance panel, if you have that open under fill, you can click this color box and and then just select the none in the upper left hand corner that way as well either way works just fine so now we're basically done all you have to do is select both the invisible box as well as our halftone dot and then click and drag it into our swatches panel just click and hold and then drag it right in there and let go in doing that now applied this halftone dot pattern into our swatches panel it's right here on my particular panel so i'm going to do select that and I'm just going to draw a quick box here so I can actually show you how this looks. And I'm going to select that new pattern swatch we just created. So as you can tell, that went ahead and made a halftone dot pattern really quickly and easily. And then we can then apply this to any sort of object. So let's say you want to apply it to this type. And I actually made this type in a 3D type tutorial that I also have on my channel. So if you want to watch how to create something like this, you can go ahead and do that. I'll link that in the description. But I'm just going to go to the appearance panel and I'm going to hit add a new fill. And I'm going to make sure that this new fill is on the very top. You can actually click and drag and move this fill wherever you want on this appearance panel. And remember the appearance panel is under window and then appearance near the top. So under fill, I'm going to click fill. But this time I'm going to select that new halftone dot we created. 
And as you can see that applied this halftone dot pattern to the overall appearance of what we just created, I'm actually going to click and drag this fill of the halftone dot underneath the white stroke here. So that looks a little bit better, but that very quickly made a very powerful halftone effect. That's really easy to do and easy to edit as well. And also something else you might find useful. If I just select this halftone dot again, I'm going to hold alt and then drag and then let go on a Mac. You'd hold option holding alt on a PC or option on a Mac. just duplicates that particular object. This time I'm just going to shrink the dot a little bit. So I'm going to hold down alt and shift while dragging from the edges here to make this dot roughly half the size. And this time I'm going to drag that smaller dot back into my swatches panel. So if I want a smaller dot pattern, it's really easy to do that. So I'm going to highlight over my type here again to select it. This time under the fill that has the halftone dot, I'm going to select my new dot that has a much smaller appearance. And as you can see, it quickly modified that halftone effect to be smaller. So this is a very powerful way to create custom halftone effects inside Adobe Illustrator. It's pretty easy to do and it's not limited to just circular patterns. You can make all sorts of patterns as you get more in depth with using these tools, but the halftone dot pattern is a nice and easy way to get into it. So I do hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please hit like and favorite. And if you want to see more content every week just like this, please subscribe. I do my best to put out new videos just like this every week. But that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.